Do you struggle with putting snow on mountains while using a palette knife? Of course you do. That's why you clicked on the video. You're in luck. I'm gonna show you an awesome hack that's perfect for beginners, that's gonna get you on the correct path for putting snow on a mountain every single time while using this almighty palette knife. Let's go. Hey all, Wild coming in super strong to help you with an awesome hack video to help you with your painting adventures. First time here, hit that sub button, like the video, leave a comment. All those fun things really help me out, so thank you so much. I think we can all agree, using a palette knife and putting snow on mounds is hard, really hard. But it's okay, because I'm gonna show you a really cool technique that I started to use when I first started painting that allows you to actually slice snow onto a mount to give you more confidence with holding that palette knife with weighted paint on it and then gingerly gliding across. And as you get more confidence and you get the strokes down, you can start to open up that blade which exposes more of that paint, allowing you to paint brick. You're not gonna wanna miss it, so let me show you how I do it. I'm talking about slicing painting on, by the way. Get your mind out of the gutter, ladies. The first step to making really good snow on top of a mountain is to make sure you have really firm paint. Now, I recommend using Winsor Newton white titanium paint. It's extremely firm, but if you already own paint and it's not as firm, I show you a really cool hack, which I'll put in the top of the card here. I recommend pausing that video, take a look at that before you attempt slicing and breaking your paint. When you have firm paint, it's naturally gonna grab onto that canvas and allow it to roll or cut off. And this will allow you to slice across the canvas with much more ease because that canvas is gonna be grabbing due to the toothing on the actual canvas itself. Now to slice paint, you follow the normal steps. Hold the palette knife like I showed you in a previous video. Again, I'll put a link on the top of the card and pull your paint flat. Slice across it so that way you have a ample amount of paint on the end of the knife. If you're just starting out, I recommend putting more paint than normal on there so that way you can see how paint will actually peel off and grab onto the canvas. Now, when you approach the canvas, I wanna make sure that the tip of the blade is at the tip of the mountain. And as you align the blade with the angle of the mountain, I want you to come in at a 45 degree angle. And I want you to leave the blade here as you gingerly go down and across. You see the biggest mistakes most people have when using a palette knife is they start to introduce a lot of variables rather than just coming down and across. And technically, yeah, it's very difficult because there are a lot of variables. When you come down and across, you have to open up the blade, use your wrist, chicken wing your elbow out, and gingerly move down. There's a lot of motions happening in this arm. And what happens a lot is your hand will start to shake. And that can be really difficult at the beginning. And if you can just leave it down to one easy motion, things will start to click a lot easier. So what I recommend is when you come in around that 45 degree angle, just simply go down, leave your wrist and forearm locked and just kind of drop your elbow in the motion of the mountain. And you're gonna get more or less slices of paint that come off. And this will look like snow when you step away from your painting and look at it from a distance. Now, the more time you do a couple of slices, the more snow it looks like that's gonna be on the mountain. And as you start to get the motion, you can turn your wrist a little bit more, exposing the blade a little more and a little more and a little more and a little more. And what this does is this will start to add into that natural paint break as you come across your mountain and things will start to click and you will feel like you can start to do paint breaks by putting your knife on there, adjusting your wrist, exposing the blade, chicken winging your elbow out and dropping down in one nice motion and allowing that blade to gingerly go across and paint break. You see this slice technique is basically like baby steps to get you to paint breaking, which is why I recommend any new person starts here. And nobody's ever really taught this, so I'm glad I get to show you. Now, if you're still struggling with using a palette knife and getting paint to break or even slice off, it's probably because of one thing. You might have a big boy or big girl palette knife just like this. And you know, this palette knife is a lot like a real knife. It has a sharp blade here, which means when you come down across, you're essentially cutting the paint off onto the canvas which can be very, very difficult if you're just starting out. It was for me. What I recommend is get yourself like an artist loft palette knife. This thing is extremely cheap. I think it's under like three bucks or five bucks. It's smaller, but the blade at the end is much more rounded. It's actually not that sharp. And I noticed from my experience that the paint kind of more or less 
just rolls off and it gives you a lot more control as you come down and across. So you can start here and then you can upgrade here. It's okay. You can treat this like your first test run of a boyfriend or girlfriend and then upgrade to that supermodel of the Bob Ross palette knife. Trust me, nothing wrong with having transitions from one knife to the next. Mountain, snow, palette knives, they're all very difficult, which is why I plan on making a video on showing you actual secrets and tips and tricks that'll make, you know, painting mountains and snow so much more easy. If you're interested in that video, you know, you can do a few things for me. You can like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell down below so that way you know when that video launches. And if you like this video here, you can do me a favor. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if this video was actually helping you out with the hack for slicing paint on your mount. Or you can even just say, hey, your hair looks good today. Give me a nice ego boost because I do appreciate it. And of course, if you want to go above and beyond, which I really, really love, you can use the links down below. And when you click through on those, those help support my channel. So thank you all out there. I really appreciate it. Now, like I always say, I'm always here for you and I'm always going to be here for you to make sure your creative adventure goes off without a hitch. I always come in clutch, which is why I'm going to put a video over here to the side that's going to show you the proper way to hold a palette knife. And it's really going to help improve your mountain technique. So I recommend checking that video out right after this one. And until next time, all you beautiful and creative people, take care and of course, peace.